It's new at 530, children who attend Fort Mill schools now have a new dress code that they have to follow. The district voted to pass the policy that is now more gender neutral. So this comes after students and parents voiced their concerns, calling urgent rules unfair. Parents said young women were being targeted unfairly. NBC Charlotte's Tanya Mendez joining us live tonight. And Tanya, not only did the dress code change, but the discipline changed as well here. Yeah, the district is really putting a focus on respect, and this policy change is going to be everywhere from the elementary schools all the way to the high schools. Simple things like shoulder straps and how wide they are now going to be measured using students' fingers. Other things as well that the district is calling common sense approaches and really a modernization of their policies. Don't tell me that I am a distraction. A policy once clothed in controversy, now given a makeover as the Fort Mill School Board members adopt a new student dress code. That it can take effect at some point this school year. The district revising its rules around what kids can and can't wear to school, doing away with some of the outdated rules about shorts and skirts. The mid-thigh is now the new uh, standard for the policy. Uh, instead of the old four inch above the knee uh, measurement, uh, which is something we heard from our parents about, you know, having uh, a policy where we were measuring kids. And tank tops now, okay, as long as the straps are at least three fingers wide. And that's students' fingers, not teachers. So a staff person's not going to walk up and put their hand on somebody. At the heart of the policy, respect. Listening to the feedback from dozens of students who told stories of being singled out, embarrassed, and even pulled out of class. We have seen statistically that girls are dress coded at a larger number than the boys. Parents who felt the policy was being enforced in a way that singled out gender and body types. But there's going to be a lot of training focused on how we deal with these issues to respect our students and to not um, cause anybody any embarrassment at any time, no matter what the issue is. And that discipline policy got a major overhaul as well. Kids in middle and high school used to get an instant in-school suspension. Students will now be given the chance to change or cover up and continue on their day. We want to keep the kids in class as often as possible. And even those violations are still going to operate as more of a three strike rule. And if a student does violate three times, then the result will be a parent teacher conference. Again, they're really trying to reduce the amount of time that students are being forced out of the classroom because of dress code violations. Reporting live in Fort Mill, I'm Tanya Mendes, NBC Charlotte. Definitely a hot topic, Tanya. Thank you.